Welcome to Black Ops 6 Gun Guides. In this series, we're going to be diving deep into the detailed stats of each weapon and coming up with the best attachments and builds to use with each weapon. Today, we're starting with the XM4. Everyone has access to the XM4 off the rip, so it's a great starting point. Let's do it. Before we get into the video, if you're new here and want more Call of Duty content, hit that subscribe button, it's completely free. Starting with the most important factor of any weapon, the time to kill. We're going to start with body shots only and then talk about the headshot multiplier after as well. For those of you who don't know, the time to kill calculation is actually very simple. It's 60 divided by the rounds per minute, multiplied by shots to kill minus 1, and then multiplied by 1000 to get the data in milliseconds. We're actually given all of this data already, so we just have to run the calculation. The XM4 has an RPM of 800, making it the second highest in the AR category, and our base damage at our effective range of 16.5 meters is 21, so it'll take 5 shots to kill. When we run the calculation, we get a time to kill value of 300 milliseconds, which is right in the middle of the AR time to kill. If we look at our time to kill chart, we can clearly see that the XM4 has a 300 millisecond time to kill at its effective range of 0 to 16.6 meters, and its effective mid range between 16.6 and 40.6 meters, and that will also be a 5 bullet kill at these ranges. I compared all of the assault rifles in terms of time to kill at all ranges in a separate video which I will link above and in the description. The XM4 will have one of the faster time to kills up to that 40.6 meter range when comparing to the other assault rifles. Even at its beyond effective range, it's incredibly good. At ranges beyond 40.6 meters, the XM4 will have a time to kill of 375 milliseconds and will be a 6 bullet kill at this range, which is the second lowest time to kill of the assault rifles at this range, making it probably the best choice in the assault rifle category overall. Black Ops 6 also has headshot multipliers, so how does that affect the XM4 time to kill? Let's take a look. The XM4 headshot multiplier is roughly 1.29, there is some rounding there, but roughly it's 1.29, so it will do 27 damage at the effective range. I'm going to list how many headshots you'll need in addition to at least one body shot to change the time to kill. At the effective range of 0 to 16.5 meters, you will need to land 3 headshots plus 1 body shot to decrease the time to kill. This changes the time to kill from 300 milliseconds to 225 milliseconds at this range. At the effective mid range, nothing actually changes unless you land all headshots, in which case it will take 4 shots to kill, but you have to land all 4 headshots, so this would give us a time to kill of 225 milliseconds at that middle range of 16.6 to 40.6 meters. When we move to the beyond effective range, you will need to land a minimum 3 headshots plus 2 body shots to kill at ranges beyond 40.6 meters, making it a 5 shot kill at this range with a time to kill of 300 milliseconds. In terms of time to kill across the assault rifle category, the XM4 is one of the best and it's tough to beat in all situations. Taking a look at the recoil of the XM4, we can see that it starts with moderate vertical recoil of 40.32 degrees per second, and then after 15 bullets, the heavy horizontal recoil starts to kick in, kicking to the right at 10.59 degrees per second. The XM4 is pretty easy to control early in the magazine with the moderate vertical recoil, but with sustained fire, it gets harder to control when it starts kicking to the right. Overall, pretty easy to control the recoil on the XM4, and with a few recoil attachment, it becomes even easier. Moving on to the mobility stats of the XM4, we're mainly looking at movement speed, sprint movement speed, and strafe speed here. All of the assault rifles are actually very similar in these areas, but if we look at movement speed, which is just the base speed you'll be moving while holding the gun, we can see that the XM4 has a value of 4.9 meters per second, which is the second fastest in the AR category. But like I said, all of the ARs are very close in this area, with the average movement speed being 4.91 meters per second. Looking at the sprint movement speed, the XM4 has a value of 6.5 meters per second, which again is right in the middle of the AR category with the average being 6.49 meters per second. And looking at the aim walking movement speed, the XM4 has a value of 3.2 meters per second, which is right below the assault rifle average of 3.23 meters per second. So in terms of mobility, the XM4 is pretty average when compared to the AR category. But like I said, these values are all very close for all of the ARs. 
Looking at the handling stats, we're looking at reload speed, empty reload speed, ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and slide to fire speed. When looking at reload speed, this is the speed of the reload with at least one bullet in the magazine. The XM4 will reload in 2.86 seconds, which is the fourth best in the assault rifle category, but above the average of 2.76 seconds. Next, we have the empty reload quickness, which is the reload speed with no bullets left in the magazine. The XM4 will reload an empty mag in 3.17 seconds, which is the third best in the AR category and just above the average of 3.14 seconds. Looking at the sprint to fire speed, the XM4 is pretty average here coming in at 190 milliseconds, which is actually tied for the second worst and it's above the average of 185.71 milliseconds. Lastly, we have the slide to fire speed, and the XM4 as well as all of the other assault rifles have the same slide to fire speed at 370 milliseconds. That's going to do it for the statistical breakdown of the XM4, and we're going to get into some of the best builds in the game for the XM4, at least builds that have been working for me. Starting with the laser beam build. This is the best XM4 for shooting straight while also maximizing its effective damage range as well. The attachments we're rocking here are the AccuSpot Reflex, but this can be whatever sight you like, the ported compensator muzzle for vertical recoil control, the long barrel to improve our effective ranges, vertical foregrip to improve our horizontal recoil, and the recoil springs to improve both our vertical and horizontal recoil. If we take a look at the chart, the new effective damage range time to kill is 300 milliseconds, and 5 shot kill between 0 and 23.1 meters, which is 7 meters better than its base time to kill. The new effective mid range time to kill is 300 milliseconds, and 5 shot kill between 23.2 and 56.9 meters. The new beyond effective range time to kill is 375 milliseconds and a 6 shot kill beyond 56.9 meters, a full 16 meters greater than its base beyond effective damage range. The stat changes are solely focused on recoil improvements, with the gun kick decreasing by 35%, the horizontal recoil decreasing by 15%, which is actually the most this can be decreased by, so our horizontal recoil control can't be better than this. Our vertical recoil control decreases by 36%, making this thing an absolute laser. If you're looking for a jack-of-all-trades build that can shoot straight and has high damage output at all ranges, this is the build for you. Moving on to the silent movement build, which will keep us off the radar while being able to maneuver the map as fast as possible. The attachments we're running here are an optic of your choice, the suppressor to keep us off the radar, vertical foregrip to help us control that horizontal recoil, the balance stock to improve our movement speed in all categories, and the recoil springs to help us with our vertical and horizontal recoil control. The stat changes give us a good mix of recoil control and movement speed. Our recoil gun kick, vertical recoil, and horizontal recoil are all decreased by 15%, making the recoil very manageable. Our movement speed is increased by 11% to 5.5 meters per second, and our strafe speed is increased by 11% to 3.6 meters per second. This is a great build for all situations. We can play stealthy and stay off the radar, all while maintaining good accuracy with our recoil control and ability to move around the map a little faster and strafe during gunfights. Lastly, we have our gunfighter build, which allows us to put eight attachments on our weapon. Gunfighter is unlocked at level 33 and is also a great choice for a permanent unlock token. With 8 attachments, we can basically build a god mode gun. The 8 attachments we're running here are an optic of your choice, the ported compensator muzzle for vertical recoil control, the long barrel to improve our effective ranges, the vertical foregrip to improve our horizontal recoil, extended mag 1 to improve our mag size to 45 while also not completely destroying our reload speeds, the commando grip to improve our handling, the balance stock to improve our mobility in all categories, and the recoil springs to improve both our vertical and horizontal recoil. Our recoil and time to kill stat changes are going to be the same as our laser beam build, and our mobility changes are going to be the same as our silent movement build. Our handling stats also improve here with our ADS speed decreasing by 15% to 220 milliseconds, and our sprint to fire speed decreasing by 21% to 150 milliseconds. This is truly a build you can use in all situations. It has the best in-class damage range, great recoil control, increased mobility, and good handling. That's going to do it for the XM4 gun guide. 
I truly think the XM4 is one of the best guns in the game right now, and it's very easy to use right from the get-go, which is what you want out of a default assault rifle. If you're looking for an easy to use weapon that will outclass a lot of weapons in this game, use the XM4. I want to hear from you guys. What's your favorite XM4 build in the game right now? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still here, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. We'll chat then.